Highside Camp was actually advertised through my school. They had some flyers and um, one of my teachers just said, hey, there's a camp in Africa and I think all of the girls here should apply. And so I thought I would never get in, but I figured why not apply just to see what happens. <laughs> okay, well it was a three week camp and each week was devoted to a different activity. So the first week we focused on computer programming and then the second week we focused on computer programming but more in depth and we also learned robotics. And then in the third week we, combi we combined all of our skills and we created a project that was very open-ended and personalized and then we presented the projects in kind of a science fair type demo. In general, I learned that you shouldn't be afraid of trying something new. Um, just to apply to the camp was something that I had to, you know, do kind of expecting, like not knowing what to expect. So, and then at the camp there were a lot of things that I did that I surprised myself, like eating new foods or public speaking. And so it's, I think it's just really important to try new things. It can just start by taking science classes at school and um, being a part of a science club or doing a camp like the one I did is a really great way to be exposed to the STEAM fields. In our society, we don't have as many women in those fields as we could, and women are, you know, 50% of our population. There's so much that they have to offer, and who knows if the cure to cancer or something really important like that is inside a woman's mind right now, and if she just decided to, you know, be a part of the STEM field, she has a lot to offer.